गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर कंप्यूटर क्लास एंड आवर चैप्टर नंबर एट वर्किंग विद टेबल्स एंड क्वेरीज गोइंग वी हैव कम्पलीटेड सम टॉपिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पेज नंबर नाइन्टी सिक्स कैलकुलेशन इन डेटा शीट यू कैन डू कैलकुलेशन द डेटा शीट फॉलोइंग द गिवन सेट यू कैन ऑल्सो डू द कैलकुलेशन इन द डेटा शीट इन द नेविगेशन पेन डबल क्लिक ऑन द डिजायर टेबल द टेबल ओपन इन द डेटा शीट व्यू ऑटोमेटिकली इन द टेबल यू कैन सी इन द राइट फोटोग्राफ क्लिक ऑन द टोटल्स ऑप्शन इन द रिकॉर्ड ग्रुप ऑन द होम टैब यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द टोटल्स दिस डिस्प्ले अ न्यू रो नेम एज टोटल नाउ इट अपियर्स ऑन द नेक्स्ट रो ऑफ द लास्ट रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द टेबल एज शोन इन द फिगर एट पॉइंट फाइव selecting some functions now select the field on which you want to perform the calculation here we have selected the field tuition fees now select the function from the list here we have selected the sum function you will find the sum of all the values of the tuition fees field appear on the screen you can find the total of the tuition tuition fees now filtering in the data sheet the filtering is a in a data sheet implies display displaying specific record while hiding rest of the records until the filter effect is clear this step is to filter data in the data sheet rs for first you have to click on the drop down arrow presenting in the right of the column header whose data you want to filter by default access selects all the check box under the text filter option click on the select all check box all the selected box will be deselected now what you have to do now select the item that you want to display in your data sheet you can select as many items as you want here we are selecting the name of only three students click okay the filter icon will appear at the right of the column head it indicates that the column is filtered if you point at the filter icon axis show the filter criteria when you fill uh, when you filter data the calculation in the total row will change accordingly and the total will show change accordingly you can remove the filter by clicking on the toggle filter button in the sort filter group on the home tab you will observe that the data sheet is back to its original form you can see it advanced filtering in the data sheet it is an advanced version of the normal filter by specifying the customized filter criterion it further narrows down the display of the record to apply the advanced filter click on the drop down arrow present on to the right of the selected column header now select the number filter option a cascading menu appear display the option as shown in the figure 8.20 2 select any of the option from the list here we are selecting the equals option the custom filter dialog box app type 12 in the class is equal to text box and click okay this will display only the records of class 12 students now searching in a data sheet how can we search in a data sheet there are times when you require a particular data in your data sheet it becomes very difficult when you are not sure about its exact location the search box location at the bottom of the access window make it easy to search enter part or whole word phrase date or number in the search box and press enter here we have entered value kabir in the search box now access highlights the corresponding value in the first record that matches you search as shown in the figure 8.2 output result is kabir kabir is shown in the black to find the next match record press enter again access find all the record that matches your search criteria anywhere in the data sheet now querying in our data sheet our data sheet of our data the database of any organized organization may contain huge amount of data moreover it may consist of multiple tables when the number of records 
in a table increases it become difficult for any user to exact a specific record from the table so microsoft excel provide a solution for the for this problem through queries a query is a data base object that helps a user to retrieve and view information from one or more database types that meets a specific condition or criteria as specified by the user the information retrieved by the basic of a specified criteria in the query is sorted stored in a separate table called the query table now what is a query in general a query is like a simple question that you ask to find a specific information from the database similarly in excel when you build a query you are defining specific search condition you can use query to view change summarize and analyze specific data in different ways in our daily life we make several types of queries to get specific information for example which students are scoring above the 85% marks which school uh, students live in section uh, sector 4 chandigarh live in sector 4 chandigarh all and so on we can make quick decision depending on the criteria let us understand the concept of queries with the help of an example queries are made on tables and results are displayed in the form of tables that is in a group of row and column with the sets of record that match the given condition microsoft access provide various type of query setting parameter cross tabs action and sql structured query language query now setting a relationship between the table how can we set a relationship between the table uh, relationships are like the associate a field in one table with the same field in another table in access you can store data in multiple tables to bring that information together you need to define relationship between the tables when you have defined relationship between the table data from both the tables can be used by query form or report a relationship works by matching a field with the same name in both the tables in most of the cases these matching fields are primary keys from one table that uniquely identify each records in a table and a foreign key is in the another table a foreign key is a value of one table that must match the primary key of another table now to create a relationship make two tables one with the name student that holds the information about the students such as their roll number their name class address city and the other with the name marks that hold the information about the students roll number percentage grade open one of them in the data sheet view now click on the data sheet database tools tab selecting the relationship button from the relationship group now the show tab window appear display the list of the table in the database select the required table and click on the add button the selected table will appear as a small window in the relationship window likewise and add another table to the relationship window you can active the activate the queries tab if the relationship is based on the query or active the both tab is a relationship is based on the both table and query click on the close button to close the show table dialog box now drag the primary key to the parent tab the student tab and drop it from the over the same field in the child table mark table in our example roll number is the primary key the added relationship dialog box appear click on the create button access create the relationship between the table a link linked a line linked and two tables will appear indicating that both have been linked on the basis of their link field click on the save button on the query uh, quick access toolbar to save the relationship and then close the relationship window by clicking on the close button on the relationship group now creating a query access provide two ways to create a query first one is query wizard second one is query design create a query in design view the design view or you uh, gives you more control over the query it allows you to create a query from the scratch 
open the database and click on the create tab on the ribbon now click on the query design button in the query group the show tab dialog box is displayed from which you can select the record source or for your query which can be more one or more table or query or a combination of two selecting the table from the show tab dialog box on which you would like to run a query click on add button and then click on the close button the selected table appears as a small window display a list of field in the upper section of the query design window that is the object relationship pane double click on the field name which you want to add in the query they will be added to the design grid the bottom section of the query window you can also add fields to the query by dragging from the field list to the design grid the design grid is smaller to the spreadsheet which with column representing each field in the query let us understand the design grid first one is field the first row of the design grid display the selected field from the table now table what is table table beneath each field name is the name of the existing table show the show row display the check mark the field with check mark display the information with the queries in run to hide the field during run check deselect the check mark by checking on it sort this property is used to filter the data either in an ascending or descending order it is option criteria it contains the condition on the basis of which the record can be filtered in the query option or the proper this property is used to set multiple criteria in a query now specifying simple criteria we simplify criteria in a criteria row of design grid specific specify the criteria value in the criteria row and data will be filtered according in the query output let us understand it with the help of an example to view the roll number and the name of the student of class 8 double click on the required field in the table move the cursor to the criteria row and type the criteria is equal to 8 in the class field column click on the sort property in the f name column and set it in the ascending order click on the close button to query window to save the query a dialog box will appear asking you to save change to design of query 1 click on the yes button to save the changes the save as dialog box will appear specify the query name and click okay the query name will appear in the navigation pane make sure you have selected all access object option from the drop down menu in the navigation pane now double click on the query name to view the query out the query result will display in the query data sheet view which looks like a table now specifying multiple criteria to specify multiple criteria in a query follow these steps suppose you want to see the records of class 8 and class 9 from a wide range of records move the cursor to the criteria row and type the condition is equal to 8 in the class field type the second condition is equal to 9 in the or row of the same column now run the query by clicking on the run button on the query tool design tab the query result will be displayed in the data sheet view if you want to save the query click on the save command in the quick access toolbar when prompted to name it type the desired name and then click okay thank you thank you for listening so